The commercial is being run by Senator Michael Bennett, and it attacks his primary opponent, former State House Speaker Andrew Romanoff. The election is set for next Tuesday, August 10th. Andrew Romanoff is running a despicable negative campaign. The truth? Michael Bennett saved the company from Wall Street, rescuing the movie theater chain, protecting the employees, and creating thousands of new jobs. Most of this is true, but there's one part that's not entirely accurate. Michael Bennett once worked to help a number of movie theater chains through bankruptcy before merging them and taking the overall company public. It now has 2,000 more workers than it did before, and analysts say it's successful. But not all workers were protected. The bankruptcy filing clearly indicated people would lose jobs and theaters would close to save money. That's what traditionally happens when companies go bankrupt. And Andrew Romanoff? He's the one helping Wall Street. Romanoff supported George Bush's plan to privatize Social Security. This is true. At issue is a vote that Romanoff took supporting Senate Joint Resolution 28 back in 2004. Now, the Republicans in control at the state legislature say it was intended at the time to support President Bush's plan to allow younger workers to invest in what the president and the resolution called personal retirement accounts. The phraseology of the president is found verbatim in many cases in the resolution. Romanoff says he voted for it because it did not specifically call for any changes that could, quote, be termed privatization. But the ARP tells Nine News that's exactly what the resolution called for and why it told everyone at the Capitol it was, quote, strongly opposed to the measure. Gambling your Social Security in the stock market. This is false. President Bush's plan always called for voluntary donations into these personal retirement accounts. That would be a combination of stocks and bonds. It was never mandatory. Andrew Romanoff, now you know the truth. The graphic here is misleading. In 2005, Romanoff voted against a plan to encourage the privatizing of Social Security. And since then, he has been publicly consistent in his opposition to the concept. If you want to see our research and sources for this truth test, you can log on to 9news.com. I'm Adam Schrager.